Hey everybody, hope you're doing really well. Uh, so a bit of good news actually. If you look at my sort of homepage here, you can see that the number is gradually steadily going upwards, which is a great thing. I'm gonna go over to my portfolio. Let's arrange them actually by this, the percentage I've made. So first we've got 10X Cycle Trader there. Melvin is on $45.46. He's made 6.49%. Selesh, new guy Selesh, it was down. This has been very volatile. Down, it was scaring me, but he's up in the last kind of couple of days. He's up 5.45% in about three or four days. It's really, you know, the markets I think have been very, very volatile, but there we are. He's up at $43.62 uh, dollars. Swissway, who I just copied in the last video, he's up 1.22% already, up $4.26 dollars. Fund Manager Zek, who was down the whole time, he's just become sort of profitable again in the last couple of days, 0.47%, half a percent, $2.00 36 cents and Isabi is at 0.34 percent a third of a percent at 2.7 uh, dollars analysis cyclico is getting closer look at him getting closer to being profitable he's just a bit down now hopefully he'll make that back soon and javier also making back some of those losses still at a loss though over there so the portfolio is looking better isn't it 45.14 dollars in profit at the moment now you'll remember it was about what was it 112 in debt when i sort of closed the copy with um slow and steady uh, so i've still got to make that back realistically to sort of be in profit uh going over to where should we go over to my actual uh, profile and my stats here we can see that on the stats page i am now up 1.26 percent for november i'm up 0.05 percent so far for the year so i'm actually in green which is just a huge relief you know i was really doing nothing with the portfolio doing nothing with it just holding my money here there was my dad he was watching one of my videos and he said that's a bit difficult every video you do it's in red you know that's a bit sort of you know depressing and it's the first time i'd actually thought yeah that actually is why am i doing that why don't i just because I, I didn't really care i was just holding my money really in the toro you know and just it was something which was a safe thing and why not make some money off it why so i started trying again looking thank god they revamped the discover page realistically what's kind of really made this difference apart from uh, melvin who had found anyhow on this coffee copy trader page it was really this it was the uh, most consistent investors um there's melvin there so it was the most consistent investors there's selesh this is where I found them. What a hugely useful thing. Consistent investors over a year, over two years, that's where I found them. So it's going well. Um, I am actually profitable at the moment. Now, it's been really, it's because the Federal Reserve, the American Federal Reserve, didn't increase their interest rates. And that's the whole market reacts well to that. If they increase them, oh, problem. If they don't increase them, all seen as a good sign. If they lower them, they're not going to lower them. Not just, yeah, anyhow, we don't know. But they took that as a good sign. Markets rallied. Now, they're pricing in 80%. They reckon that next month they won't increase rates again, which would be another bullish sign. Um, and apparently it's quite often the case that these last sort of months of the year are often sort of bullish green months. So that's what people are hoping for. I don't know. We'll see. But it has been really, really volatile. Obviously, Selesh was down like three days or four days ago, maybe five days. It was like minus $18 or something. You know, it's been a real um, movement around. Let's see how they're actually doing. So Melvin over here. He's just been doing so well. Uh, he's on 2.08 for October. That's what he made in October. We've just started November, 0.11. He's on 8% so far for the year. Uh, we'll go to Selesh. Now, Selesh, really, I mean, let's go to his chart first and just look at that volatility over the last month. I'll, I'll show you kind of what I mean. There we are. So we've gone from sort of 12,600. Boom. So this is here. We're on the 16th of October. By the 28th of October, he had dropped from 12,500 down to 11,800. It's not that much of a drop, but it's a drop because I just started copying them. So I sort of got that drop. And then look, from the 29th of October to the uh, 4th of November, we've gone all the way from 11,800 up to 12,800. You know what I mean? It's like 10% or whatever. It's a huge sort of uh, um, volatility there, but it's really, it's done well. Um, let's look at his statistics. We've got, there we are, down 2.11 for September, 1.83 for October, and up 6.45% in November so far. What are we on? Day four? It's unbelievable. So 28% for the year. And it's something I'd noticed and I didn't want to sort of say. See how we have two losing months and then a big green? Well, looking at him, I'd seen this before. Two losing months and then a big green. Two losing months and then a big green. Two losing months and a big green. Two losing months and a big green. So I, I wondered if that pattern was going to continue. I don't want to jinx it. Obviously, it's just the beginning of November. And we have seen such changes in the markets. I don't know if it's going to hold, you know. I don't know. I was watching it like, oh, my God, he's losing. Oh, my God. And I get, you know, it, it, it is a bit nerve-wracking. But I've got my stop losses in place. And, you know, historically, obviously, 
you know, there, there are time horizons. I can't expect it to all be good this month, even if it goes down. But um, I think if people start losing consistently now, I'm more likely to stop the copy quicker um, and then wait till they're in green again and start again. I sort of have this theory now after copying people for a while that they go through times where they're just in sync with what the market's doing and they go through other times where they're just out of sync with what the market's doing and they keep trying the same thing i don't know if this is true this is not investment advice but i think this is what i'm going to do going forward cut them off sooner and just look for people who are kind of in sync sync with what the market is currently doing like they have the right kind of thesis naturally for now I don't know, that's what i'm going to do so uh there we are in the portfolio uh, Melvin and Selesh uh, doing well there. He's up, look at that, 5.45%. I was literally down about six or something days ago. I keep changing that number. Swissway, who I just started copying. How's he doing? He's doing really, he's doing well. Look at him, he's on 19% so far for the year. We've got 2.5% in October, 2.57, and we're up 0.66% for November. Uh, risk scores there. Uh, his copiers are going up. He's still only got 395 copiers, so among, among the first copiers. He's only got two years of history. Remember, this is a gamble. This is a, a new person, you know? I'm aware of that. I've got my stop losses in place. We'll see how it goes. He's doing well. Um, there we are. We've got Fund Manager Zek. Now, Fund Manager Zek... Uh, he's been down most of the time. Again, last few days, I think since, yeah, last few days, he's up, really. Uh, going to his stats, he's got um, 2.8 in, in September. Now, this is weird, 0% in October. And that's not, look, because it shows 0.96. It shows fractions. Literally, somehow, he managed 0%. Like, not 0 0.1, 0. Um, and then up 0 0.75, three quarters of a percent so far in November, right? So that's like the last four days. Do you see what I mean? These are very new results, all right? So I'm sort of, if I'd done this video five days ago, it would have looked redder. I would have been like maybe $15 in profit or not even, you know? So uh, it could still change. I'm aware of that. But 24% so far for the year. Uh, his risk scores absolutely level. Copiers absolutely level. Only three new ones in the last seven days. Five million plus assets under management. There's... Um, Fund manager Zek. Uh, is a B. Is a B hasn't she's doing the same stuff. So look, we go to the stats and we can see that in September 0 0.37, October half a percent, 0 0.49, and so far nothing in November, no trades. 9.6 so far for the year. Uh, in a portfolio, what she got open, still just that Bitcoin, that Bitcoin trade. Um, nothing else. So over the last, we'll go to history again. Over the last 30 days, what have we got? Really nothing. So over the last uh, three months, we can see some. Three trades in the last three months. Over the last 30 days, actually no closed trades, which is incredible. I thought there might have been one from last month. But there we are. Um, so that's her. 249 copiers. They're going down a bit. Minus 11 copiers in the last seven days. And really just flat risk scores. Average one, max one. So there we are. That's her. And analysis cyclical. He's coming back really slowly, but he is coming back. You know, he was obviously down for a long time. 2.36 down September, 0 0.66 in October. 1.21, again, the turnaround is very quick. So a lot of the traders I'm copying, 5.42 for, for the month, for the year so far. A lot of the traders I'm copying, therefore, if we're seeing such a quick turnaround, it's only in the last sort of this November, four days or so, that the markets have suddenly gone very bullish. So what we might be seeing is that the people I am copying are very correlated with the markets you know so if the markets go this way they're doing well if the markets go that way will they adapt quickly enough to do well now i mean you look at selesh and sort of last year the markets weren't going well a lot of people i copied a lot of people on the toro were losing money and he still made money then so he still made 12 percent then uh, we go back and we look at uh, melvin and these part of the reason i really chose these guys uh, we look at last year, 72%, you know, when the markets were going down and most people were losing or there was great instability in the markets and changes in direction. So that's kind of why I've picked them also. Let's Swiss way is the same. Uh, I kind of picked them for that ability last year, 30%. You know what I mean? To, I, I picked them for that ability that if it does go wrong, which, I mean, how much trouble is there in the world? There's so much trouble going on, so much weird financial news. Today, the markets are bullish. Last week, everything was selling off. You see Tesla plummeting. Everything was plummeting. So with that changeable, I'd like people who can react quickly, historically at least. I don't know what they're going to do in future. I'll hopefully make money either way. So hopefully I've got a good portfolio. We'll see in that regard. Um, and Javier here. Javier has been having a really tough time. But actually, the last few months, if you look at him, so June and July, he was down. But there, August, 1.34. September, 0 0.7. October, 1.52. 
0.43 down so far the, uh, in November. So he's sort of managed to work out how to make money the other way when the markets were going around. Maybe this is where he switched to the other way. Now they're going up, you see. So again, though, he made 28% last, last year. So is he going to be able to react uh, quickly? Hopefully. I mean, he's shown that he can, hopefully, historically there. So let's see what he does. That's what's been happening. Now, am I going to just put more money? If these guys do well and ladies do well, um, maybe I'll just put more money. I've still got 962 available cash there to sort of use either on new people or on these people that I'm actually still copying. I don't know which one should uh, I should do. Remember in the watch list, there's a couple of people I'm still looking at, potential traders to copy. We've got Wendy Lin here, who's been suggested by eToro, but I've been looking through her stats. 26 this year, 13 last year, 11 the year before, and four the year uh, before that, which is really great. We've got a 10.92 yearly drawdown. Uh, 433 people copying only. Now, 138 in the last seven days. She's been featured on that trader page by eToro, sort of someone to have a look at. So I think that's why there's a sudden bump. Um, risk scores have come way down. I've been looking at statistics a bit and looking hopeful and looking uh, kind of interesting. I maybe do a video going over looking at her in more in more detail. Uh, but just to go back, who else was I looking at? Copying that other guy. Remember I made a video about him, Autobus here, and I thought maybe we could copy him beginning of November. And if we go down, we can see, and it's, it's the sort of biggest thing. When will I be able to copy you? You know, this is the three days ago. This is the big question everyone's asking. Him. Good question, I'd like to know too. Um, same down here. When will more be, be, people be able to copy you, Kresimir? Hi, do you know when you'll be able be enabled to be copied again? Um, I assume that once the trades closes, now that's three days ago, he wants to see, I, he assumed that he'd move up a level and be able to take more copies. That's what I thought. I thought he was going to go, they were going to wait till the end of the month, he'd go from the blue star to the red star, when the amount of people who could copy him would go up, we'd all be able to copy him. But I clicked the button, I clicked it straight away, uh, second we turned to November, and no, trader cannot be copied. They haven't moved him up yet. I'm not sure why. His statistics, he's not over seven. Uh, he's got copiers. I don't see him doing anything. He's, he's talking on his feeds. I don't know why they haven't moved him up. Maybe, I don't know why, but they haven't moved him up. Now, I, I don't know. So there's those two I'm looking at copying. Or should I just stick with these people who I'm already copying who are actually doing really well? I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm just glad to be in the green. How nice to be in the green, you know, makes a big difference. Obviously, it's, like I said, it's volatile. We'll see what happens next week. Don't laugh at me if this suddenly goes red, but it's nice to see it for now. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, if you found any more people to copy, please let me know. I'd always like to see more people, just in case there are any. We've got a good mix of like um, equities traders. We've got a little Bitcoin here. Uh, we've got some different styles going on. We've got Forex trading. At the moment, I'm kind of good with that. Two directional, when they're buying, when they're selling, they've shown they can make money when the market's moving in two different directions. How are you doing? What am I missing? Did you uh, go in for that uh, eToro offer? With the 10,000, whatever it was, guaranteed no losses. I don't have 10,000, so I couldn't do it. But I would have, I think. Um, other people saying wait because Bitcoin's going to rally. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. And uh, please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with anyone else who might listen to be waffling. And thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.